great. Podcasts are blowing up, and it makes sense because they're just so versatile. You can listen to a podcast while out for a run, while driving your car, or even while you're in the shower. Hey, those aren't waterproof. Maybe you have an idea for a podcast. You've thought about it before, but you weren't sure exactly where to start. Well, in this video, we'll walk you through the entire process from exactly what gear to buy to how to actually make that first episode and then how to get your podcast out to the world. There are so many podcast mics. There's new ones coming out all the time. There's all this new gear, there's cables, there's boom arms. There's so much stuff. You could spend weeks, not even podcasting, but just picking out the right gear for your setup. Instead of doing all of that, we put together three packages that make sense for every level of podcaster. We call them the solo, the interview, and the Joe Rogan. Boom. Travis uses the solo at home, and so let's pop in on him recording in his home studio. Oh, hey there. Wasn't expecting you. I was just getting ready to record something on our solo podcast setup, which is a really great setup for beginner podcasters because you get excellent audio quality at a great price. And it all starts with this microphone right here, the Samson Q2U. It's a dynamic microphone that is great at rejecting background noise. The Q2U also comes with a microphone stand and a USB cable, so you can plug the microphone directly into your computer to record your podcast. Now all you need is a pair of headphones to allow you to monitor your voice as you're recording. A pair of earbuds like these are perfect for doing just that. So now you can tell if you're backing away from the microphone or picking up some background noise that you don't want to make it into your podcast episode. Now, pro tip, if you're recording in your house, a walk-in closet like this is perfect because all the clothes are gonna reduce and dampen the echo and reverb that can sneak their way into your podcast episodes. And now you get crisp, clear audio that makes it sound like you recorded in a professional studio. But what if you wanna do an interview podcast with a co-host or guests? Well, if you're recording remotely, the solo podcast setup might still work for you. You just need to make sure that your co-host or your guest has a similar setup. Hi, everybody. Hey, Jalan. So Jalan and I both have solo podcast setups and using the power of the internet, we're able to record high quality audio even when we're in different locations. We recommend using software like Zoom, Squadcast, or Riverside to get great audio recordings. We even did a great video breakdown of all the different software options so you can figure out which one is the best fit for your podcast. Exactly. And we'll leave links to all those videos in the description below. Now, what if you want to conduct an interview in the same location? Now let's look at what's going to change between the solo podcast setup and the interview podcast setup. Hey, Jalan. Great to see you in person. Likewise. Now that we're in the same room together, we're only missing one more piece of equipment, an audio interface like the Scarlett 2i2. Unfortunately, computers have a difficult time recording two USB mics simultaneously. No worries, though. The Scarlett 2i2 takes care of that. Just use the XLR cables that come with the Q2U, plug them into your microphones, then take the Scarlett and plug it into the computer that you're wanting to record on. Now we can easily record each person on their own separate track, which is going to make editing your podcast episode so much easier. Now you're also going to need two sets of headphones. Any headphones you have laying around the house will do, but that will allow you to monitor your audio in real time as you're recording your podcast. And then you're going to need a headphone splitter to plug those headphones into your Scarlett 2i2. Now, if you have some extra wiggle room in your budget, I highly recommend the Rode PSA1 boom arm. It's gonna allow you to bring the microphone really close to your mouth for that extra crisp audio. And this whole setup without the boom arms is less than $300. So a great starting place if you're just beginning your podcast. But what if you wanted the best podcast setup that money could buy? Hey, Albin, are you ready to talk about the Joe Rogan? Last but not least, the Joe Rogan. This is the best podcast setup that money can buy. But if your heart's set on it, you're gonna have to make some tough decisions. I'd give you 40 bucks for it. So let's talk through what we've got on the table. Everything is centered around two Shure SM7B microphones. These sound awesome. It's actually what Michael Jackson used to record Thriller. They're held up by the Rode PSA1s, great boom arms. Sennheiser Studio Headphones, uh, Cloudlifter CL2, and the Rodecaster Pro. This is an awesome setup, but for most of us, it's hard to justify spending more on podcast gear than I did on my first car. And that's why for almost everybody, I think you should be looking back at the Samson Q2U, the mic that we were pushing in the last setup. Like seriously, this will get you 90% of the way there for just a fraction of the cost. And if down the line you're growing, this is something you wanna continue doing, well, you can always upgrade 
later on. So now that you've picked the gear that you're going to use for your podcast, you're ready to make your first episode. We're gonna need to pick some simple software to actually record your audio and then make any of the necessary edits. There's a ton of options here for what software to use. I personally use Descript, but everybody on our team has their own opinion. For podcast editing, I'm using Adobe Audition. I like editing in GarageBand because it is so user friendly. Let's go hit it back! Yeah, there are a lot of options and strong opinions about which software to use. But in this video, I'm gonna recommend you use Audacity. Audacity is the most popular podcast editing software. And the reason it's so popular is because it's free. It's open source and it's cross-platform, meaning that if you're on a Mac, Windows, or even Linux machine, you can use Audacity. And as you get more advanced and you're learning more techniques, well, there's tons of Audacity tutorials for free on YouTube and the rest of the web. Even Travis, our resident Hindenburg fanboy, he did an entire Audacity tutorial series. That's true, I did make an Audacity tutorial and it's a really good program. However, in my opinion, when you really wanna go all out, you should 100% get Audacity. Yes, it really is the best place for new podcasters to start. So now that we have our software picked out and we've got our equipment, let's record our episode. Step one, plug in your microphone. And then make sure you turn your microphone on. The Q2U actually has a little light to tell you when it's been turned on. I just may or may not have broken that earlier when we were recording this video. All right, so now let's pull up Audacity. Now notice that I plugged in my mic before I opened Audacity. And I'm doing that so that Audacity recognizes the Q2U as an audio input device. So just make sure that USB advanced audio device is selected. And now we're ready to record. Just click the record button and start talking. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Albin Podcast. I'm so excited to have you here and I can't wait to tell you what my next guest is going to be. Who the next guest is going to be. All right, so if you see the waveform creating, that means that we're recording this podcast and it looks really good. Don't overthink it and think you have to be perfect. Remember, we can edit out all the ums, ahs, any mistakes, any interruptions. All of that can be edited out of the audio really easily. So now that we've recorded the audio, we're ready to edit and turn that into a polished episode. I'm gonna show you three tips, and these are the building blocks that you'll use to create every episode. The first is cut and delete. This is where we're gonna be able to remove any parts that we don't want in the final episode. So what you do is you just find the segment that you don't like, you go ahead and highlight it, and then you press delete. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, one recommendation I'd make is go for high level edits here. Take out any really big interruptions or long rambling segments. Don't try to remove every filler word like an um or a ah, or else you'll spend all your time editing and none of your time podcasting. You don't wanna become this guy. One to two more hours of editing, this thing's gonna be perfect. All right, next we're gonna bring in some intro music to the beginning of your episode. Just make sure that the music you have is correctly licensed or in the public domain. We'll head over here and I've got some music set up and I just drag and drop that into Audacity. Now I just need to move the top segment so that they're not uh, both playing at the exact same time. Use this move tool and just slide the audio down. Now we will play the music first and then the audio. Maybe give your podcast one last listen through, make sure you're happy with it and then we're ready to export it. Go to File, Export, and then Export as a Wave. We recommend using a WAV file because it's lossless and you won't actually lose any of the audio quality during this stage. Click Save, OK. All right, so now you could add some metadata. These are ID3 tags. If you're on a podcast host like Buzzsprout, we would do this for you automatically so you didn't have to do this step. Just click OK and skip past. Now we have our final episode on our desktop and we're ready to upload it to our podcast host, like Buzzsprout. Now that you finished your first podcast episode, it's time for the easy part. We're just gonna get your podcast into directories like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. You're going to need a podcast host to host your audio files. So head over to buzzsprout.com and click get started in the upper right hand corner. Just fill out these short details with your name, email, and let us know you're not a robot and create your podcast. Next, give your podcast a title 
and description. I just got a drone for Christmas, so my podcast is going to be called Droning On About Drones. Now we're going to fill out a few more details about your podcast. Go to the Podcast Settings tab and scroll down to select some custom artwork. Then we want to pick one Apple Podcast category. You only really need to pick one, but make sure it's specific to your podcast. Now it's time to upload the first episode that we exported from Audacity. Click Upload a New Episode and then drag and drop the file onto the screen. Once it's done uploading, we can give the episode a great title and description. The last thing you need to choose is when to publish your episode. You can leave it unpublished as a draft, publish it immediately, or schedule it for future release. Now that we've got everything about your podcast set up, it's time to get your podcast into Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We'll start with Spotify since it's a bit faster of a process. Go to Directories, scroll down to Spotify, and click Get Listed. If you followed all of the steps so far, you meet all these criteria. So just click Submit Your Podcast to Spotify. The next directory you want to get into is Apple Podcasts. It's the largest podcast directory in the world and will give you access to a ton of new podcast listeners. It does take a little bit longer to get listed with Apple Podcasts because they do a full human review. But once you're listed, you never have to submit again. All new episodes will be distributed automatically. So let me be the first to congratulate you on launching your podcast. But remember, this is just the beginning of your podcasting journey. If you have any questions, leave them down below. We'd love to help. Or you can reach out at support at buzzsprout.com. And we also are doing tons of videos like this on the channel. So if you ever run into issues submitting to a new directory or you want some help with your artwork, we've got you covered. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Action. Or even while you're in the shower. Those aren't waterproof. Podcasts are blowing up. Oh, <laughs> that's too much because they're so versatile. You can listen to a podcast while running. It's too much. <laughs>